Hello, my name is Stephanie and I'm a full-time reseller with Poshmark. Today, I want to do a 2021 wrap-up. I want to talk about everything that I've done this year when it pertains to YouTube and reselling and I'd love to take you guys for the ride. So we started off the year with some reseller accountability. Some things and tips that I use to kind of get myself back into a groove, you know, right after that holiday. So we went with organization because you really need to have an organized space to really get started. You have to do scheduling, you have to make, sit there and, and make a goal, but if you don't have the steps, you're never gonna get there. So organization is key. Then we talked about focus. And to me, that means a whole lot of things. So whether that's focusing on certain areas and doing batch work, or if it's focusing your closet so you're not really thrifting every and anything, it's super important. Then I always want to remind you to reward yourself because your hard work eventually does pay off and you should reward yourself, even if that means sourcing more. There's a many times when my kids join the mix in all the videos and I think you guys love them more than me at this point. <laughs> we went over many tips and tricks throughout the year, whether it was using Poshmark's tools or it was just little things that I personally did that makes my life a little bit easier. We went over different hauls. I went thrifting a lot, went sourcing way too much in 2021 than I'd like to admit. But I've had some crazy stories that come out of it. Like that time I sourced a bunch of shoes and that's never ever happened ever again it was like one of my favorite hauls to date or how about how many mystery boxes i bought this year i can't tell you the amount of times i either bought mystery boxes or a source from either my reselling community or from poshmark I mean, too much too many times to get i think sometimes i even went as far as buying garbage bags of clothes off marketplace and I still kind of regret that one. I even changed my office a couple times, actually. So we moved from the shed, we brought it inside, and then I got this awesome tent, so I had to move my office around just one more time. And I'm still kind of under construction. Not everything's in the place that I want it to be just yet. My most viewed video to date happens to be the Real Poshmark cases, dramatic reading. And I'm not sure if it's because of the drama of the cases or because of my dramatic reading, but you guys absolutely loved it. And I enjoy doing them. I don't know when number five is coming out, but number four is out there. So if you haven't watched that one, you should go watch it. If you haven't watched any of them, you're missing out because those are my most enjoyed videos to date. It was definitely an interesting year. I met my best friend for the very first time and we went sourcing together and the time flew by. We went to so many stores and don't tell her, but I still haven't listed everything I got when I was with her. Shh. <laughs> it's definitely something that I would absolutely love doing again. We're going to do it again. Just don't know when yet. We talked about fall and winter trends. Like, who am I? I don't follow trends. This is like the same shirt I wear in like every single video at this point. I just really like it. And I actually hate the color yellow, but I really like this shirt. We even talked about mental health. Like, what? I put that out on the internet? Yeah. Yes. Yes, I did. Because I think it's important to talk about. You guys saw the disaster of my office and just how crazy caught up I can get into, you know, putting stuff off and then it kind of becomes a disaster. But I cleaned it up and then I got this tent, like I said, and then I had to readjust everything. So I'm not going to show you what's behind the camera today. <laughs> I decided to help you guys take your business to the next level using the supplies I use. And I opened an Amazon storefront. Who am I? Yeah, that was kind of crazy and awesome. And, you know, the whole point of it was to help others. And it's just a resource and a tool. It's not something I'm really actively watching daily, but like if I see a good deal, I'll definitely tell you guys about it. So that was exciting. I tried another, I know it's a mystery box and I already talked about the fact that I did lots of mystery boxes this year, but I tried that new company coop for the first time. I received the items, some are, eh, some are okay. Uh, but I have another video coming in the new year because maybe I sent them some stuff. Who knows? 
my PFF in Alberta went sourcing for me and I went sourcing for her. And so that was super exciting and something really new and different. We shipped it to each other and uh, some of my stuff's already sold and I'm so excited. That Joseph Ribkoff set was absolutely amazing. Do not sleep on such an amazing piece like that. That's so amazing. We talked about what the oldest item was in my closet. You know, that was, that was a trip down memory lane. And yes, it's still available. It's still forever going to be available. I don't think I'll ever give into it. One day, someone will want to buy it. I hope. <laughs> and finally, one of my last videos, again, was a mystery box, but it was cash or trash. And I gotta tell you, it was mostly cash. It was an eventful 2021. And I am ever so grateful for all the subscribers that I've gained this year, all the people who have been here from the very beginning of me creating these videos. I appreciate each and every one of you. I am taking time off from both Poshmark and YouTube. So I will be back in the new year. So I really appreciate you guys. I hope you guys all have a fun and safe festive season, no matter what you celebrate. You know, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, Feliz Navidad, and everything else, because, you know, I'm going off the top of my brain. And I will see you guys in the new year. You guys are all amazing. And it's just been a crazy year, and the amount of support I have gotten for everything has been just there's no words. So thank you so much. And uh, I guess here are some bloopers. <laughs> and I think, ooh, I mean, today I just want to end things off. You know, up what 2021 has done. Not 21. Like that one time I sourced like a really crap.